kids, Miss Kulkarni here. In this video, let's talk about variables, laws and theories. In every experiment, we deal with these terms. So, most of the experiments, as you know, have something which we call as variables. The value for this may change or sometimes it may not change, but they are called as variables. And what are the different types of variables? It's independent variable, dependent variable, and the third is control variable. Let's find out one by one what is the meaning of each of this variable. So what is independent variable? This is the one which a scientist independently decides to change. So you can say he or she is selectively varying it, changing it for the experiment. Dependent variable is the one that is measured while doing the experiments. And this is in the response to the change for independent variable. Now keep in mind the changes which we make for the independent variable may cause or result a change in dependent variable or it may not. Then the third one is control variables. So in order for experiment to give some conclusive results, other factors must be kept constant and those are the one which we call as control variables. Now moving on to find out what is difference between a law and a theory. It's pretty simple. A scientific law is a concise, factual, based on facts, a statement. And that is already proven by scientists depending upon the observation. So a law is something which is already accepted in the world to be true. It is universal and it is expressed most of the time in the form of a mathematical equation. Now coming to scientific theory. Theory is still in the process to become a law. This is the explanation, not just the result, explanation of some natural or physical phenomenon based upon a proven multiple hypothesis. So we may not just want to have one hypothesis, we can have multiple hypotheses and we can vary independent variable multiple times. So Theories still use some facts and laws in support for their experiments. In case, if you are confused, this will be helpful. This is the difference between theories and laws. Theories tell you why something is happening. It gives you explanation. Laws will tell you what is going to happen. It's a flat statement. Then theories is the explanation where laws is the prediction. Theories are based on some evidence, facts. Laws are also based on some evidence and facts. Now here's an example. Atomic theory is a theory based upon the observations and explanation. We can explain how it works. The example for law is like Newton's law, Newton's laws of motion, and they are universally accepted. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you know how to find out the different types of variables and also how to identify if it's a theory or a law. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.